Welcome everybody to the Waywookum Ecocultural Estuary Restoration Project. And before you say it, yes, I had to try that a few times. I'm privileged to be your tour guide. I've been involved with this project since 2017. I've been very privileged to be involved with it as far as I have been. A um, little bit about myself. My lineage comes from the Wewakum and the Wewakai people. I moved back to Campbell River about 14 years ago and I started my work with strategic forest management. Uh, just like every youth, it was hard to figure out where I belonged, so once I graduate, went back and graduated university, I started working with this project with the Wewakum and realized very quickly where my passion is. So here we go on this tour and uh, I get to share a little bit of my passion with you. Gila Kassel. So I'm Tim Claremont. I'm actually the executive director of uh, Guardians of Mid Island Estuary Society. And for about 20 years, I was a conservation land manager. So as in my job of trying to uh, protect uh, e you know, important ecosystems on Vancouver Island, mostly estuaries and wetlands, I, get, I noticed a lot of change in our estuaries, a lot of issues around uh, what a lot of people wouldn't understand is this Canada goose thing where Canada geese used to be only on Vancouver Island as migrants, uh, you know, at certain times of the year. They never nested here and there, were, there weren't, uh, you know, uh, native, um, they, weren't, they weren't indigenous to Vancouver Island, they are migratory. In the 70s and 80s, wildlife agencies brought Canada geese here as young birds. They weren't taught to migrate. And because the habitats here were great, whether it was an estuary or uh, soccer fields in, in town or, or, you know, anywhere where there's grass and farmlands, um, you know, why would they migrate anywhere? Uh, if there's a little bit of hunting, they can go into uh, an estuary or in, in the city of Campbell River or you know, wherever and, and get away from the hunters. So they thrived on the island. They thrived in estuaries. They started to nest in a lot of our Vancouver Island estuaries that I was managing and so we started addling programs back in you know 20 years ago uh, and then realized that that wasn't going to be good enough to uh, stop the destruction of, uh, of the vegetation that Canada geese uh, love to, uh, to feed on and, and in particularly the sedge marshes of estuaries, the Carex Lindy sedge that is a plant that's really important. It starts uh, growing in, in February, March as just a, a sprout. It can grow two meters tall and it's part of the, it's an indicator for uh, productivity of estuaries, but it's also important habitat for salmon fry that like to hang out and uh, feed around uh, the sedge marshes uh, for the two or three weeks uh, that they need to be in an estuary growing and getting used to the salt water before they out migrate into the, into the sea. So I, so we just saw a lot of destruction and uh, I worked a lot in the Englishman, Little Qualicum, and then we kept noticing in Campbell River in the summertime there'd be this molt population of Canada geese and, and that was a group of birds that would come to, to the Campbell River and the Nuns Estuary and in the bays here and they would, they would hang out from May to uh, early September and there's a period of time where they are losing their flight feathers and they can't fly. And because of the food was here, the carrick sedges, the eelgrass and the low tide zones, uh, they just seemed to like Campbell River to summer, basically. And there was over a thousand. There, at one point, there was over 1,400 geese recorded here. And at the same time as the industrial logging and all of the things that happened to the Campbell River estuary over time that impacted the habitat, a lot of effort was being made to, to recreate habitat, to, to restore the habitat. Just to have all that work go for naught almost because of Canada geese numbers uh, reaching these huge numbers in this pretty small area. And so this was impacting uh, fish habitat, salmon habitat, 
the the food food web of the estuary, migratory birds, you name it. it. It was an impact on a lot of different species. This is exactly how we want a fence uh, a goose exclosure to look. Because it looks natural, so when people come kayaking through here, they're not going to look and see this big industrialized fence. We don't need that. No. What we need is something basic just like this. This is a beautiful fence. I, I have to give David credit because he, he really did a good job on this. Mm -hmm. And it's something All that the poles also... that are in there and the cross bracing, that's what me and... Uh, not sure if you met my partner Joey but that's what we were doing for the first year we went and we did all the framework for most of the fences around here oh, yeah. and then Uncle David David Cliff he's come through and he's tied on all the uh, all the willow and stuff that's filling in the middle oh, yeah. and making it so that it's a fence and not just a window yeah and it's it's really good because it's also biodegradable. That's right. So if not... something slams into it and breaks it, it doesn't matter if a piece of this goes washing down the, the creek because naturally it would already be here. Yeah. Whereas if a big log came smashing through here and took out, you know, a big section of fence. Yeah. Well, that fence, it doesn't float, so it's just going to sink to the bottom and it's just going to be some, some plastic sheet that's stopping... Uh, eelgrass or something from growing there yeah. and it's going to cause more damage to our estuary. Yeah. Looking at this right now, I'll probably be giving cousin David a call, Uncle David, sorry, Yeah. and uh, letting him know that it's breaking down a little bit just mm -hmm. in little spots like that. Yeah. But that's also, you know, our purpose for being out here is we all work off of each other. We all help each other out because we're here for the same purpose. And yeah. that's to, to bring this estuary back. You see this rock path here, how it comes up and then it goes into that kind of muddy flat there. Yeah. Last year, there was no sedge grass along this band. There was lots of rush that real thin, this kind of grass. Yeah. That's not what we're trying to protect. It's important, no. but yeah. we're, it, there's lots of it right now. Uh, what is we are trying to stuff? protect, yeah, is that nice, luscious set. Well, it's not so luscious right now because yeah. it's on its way out. But at the peak of the season, it's a beautiful, vibrant green color. Oh, yeah. That I wish I could replicate. Campbell River Estuary, as it stands right now, it's still home to a lot of beauty. A lot of species that still thrive here. My question is, is what species were here before? Ooh, oh, hallelujah. 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 